we were just talking about how um, what, what what you did as a living first that kind of maybe led to having to get a new replacement. Well, uh, for years and years, I have worked as a mechanic. I uh, did different jobs, and uh, I used to work on cars and and uh, work on concrete floors and and uh, with knees uh, on the floor instead of knee pads. And over the years, it just cut up with me. Right. And I mean, how you said you've already gone through a full knee replacement on your left knee, correct? So wh when did you get that done and what, why did you feel like you needed to come in and I need to get an Well, Well, my knee had gotten so bad and so painful and it had had a curve to it. Instead of being, being straight, it had a curve to it. And so uh, I made an appointment, you know, to finally come in and uh, met Dr. Noble. And he took an x-ray. In fact, he took x-ray of the both knees. Mm -hmm. And uh, he, he said, uh, you need to do something. He says, it's bone on bone, it's crooked, and it's only going to make matters worse. So we scheduled it, uh, you know, a few months later. So that, and, yeah. you know, I had that one done first, my left knee first, yeah. And that was about a year ago. It's exactly a year. Exactly a year ago, and you're fully recovered. How does that knee feel? How was the whole process Oh, yeah, I mean, I mean, the process was really good. Uh, I like the uh, idea, you know, that uh, I could, he got me out of bed the first day. I said, are you kidding me, right? He, he got me out of bed the first day, and I started walking, and from, from that point on, I, I went. And, uh, and the more I, I used it, the more it felt better. And I didn't have to use the drugs, you know, that, that they give you the oxy and stuff, stuff like that. I used some of it, but not all of it. And uh, I didn't like, like the way it made me feel anyway. So I just uh, weathered it out and it worked great. For your left knee. Yeah. And so was it partially opioid, but part, uh, most of it was treated without opioids. No, no. It was Partially treated with the Part opioids, oh, yeah, yeah, and then uh, and then after a certain point, I did just stop the opioid, you know, completely, and, and then I used the Tylenol, and you know, you know, help me out. Got it. And then your other knee, you went through the same process, but it's a little different, correct? So explain to me what you went through for your other knee replacement. What do you, uh, well, it, it was uh, almost as bad as this knee, and uh, so he, he already had it on on uh, the x-ray and he says uh, you know uh, we can do one knee now and one knee later I said well I'd like to get, get the bad one first and this one later so finally we got the second knee done and um, uh, we scheduled the appointment I said I want it the same time you know so it worked out and you had it done about two weeks ago, correct? November. Yeah, no, November fifth. November fifth. And how are you feeling now? Oh, I feel great. I feel great. I'm a able to walk around, you know, uh, you know, and it's g gathering more and more strength in my knees as I go. And in a w week or so, I won't need the cane no more. <laughs> Thank you. <laughs> yeah. And so the day after you said something, I heard you say you said you, you were able to walk right away. The day. Yeah. After? The very first day. Uh, they got me out of bed and I was able to walk and I, I walked all the way down down the hall and come back and um, and from that point on I was up. Is that normal for people to walk right well, away like that? Or? Well you know it, it's amazing I think it's the procedure that Dr. Noble uh, has is, is, is in order to get you out of bed so so you're not laying there feeling sorry for yourself and so forth. So I did did that, and uh, and I, I was really thankful, you know. So I have no no complaints at all. And this treatment, um, I <coughs> heard you didn't use opioids, correct? You went through an alternate. I'm sorry. You didn't use opioids for this treatment. I used a uh, Tamenol. So yeah, so that was like a different treatment option. Right. Yeah, di so di different treatment off. And then I you used them only for a uh, couple weeks, and I've already stopped them. Really. So I'm, the only thing I'm using now is uh, Tylenol. And did you, did you ask Dr. Noble for the different treatment because you didn't like how the opioids felt, or did he just kind of offer it? No, no, uh, it, it was just offered, you okay. know, in it. Uh, the the oxy, the oxy, I think, uh, ma it made me feel really bad. It made, made me feel lightheaded and. Uh, 
But when I stopped it, I started coming, you know, thinking that it's better. And this area is not bad. I just don't want to be um, obligated to it or, you know, addicted to it. So. And you feel great now. You're not oh, on yeah. any medications. You're just now physical therapy is now. Yeah, it, it, except for physical therapy and Tylenol, I'm good. And so you're two weeks in, you have, or about three weeks in, you have three weeks left to go, correct? Yeah. Um, so, you know, why, why was it so important for you to recover in this way without being, you know, stuck to the opioid prescriptions? I know that this is a, an ongoing thing where people just want to stay away from those drugs. Can you just explain to me why it's so important because for you to stay away? Because drugs to me is a, is a, uh, a crutch, you know? You know, you have to deal with things, and uh, you know, it's going to be painful. I'm not, not going to say it's not. It's going to be painful, but but the more you work, the more you uh, walk, the more you treat yourself, the less the pain gets. And that's what I didn't want. I didn't want to rely on opioids as a crutch for anything. You know, so that, that's what made you know. That, that's how I feel about it. Um, what do you want like other patients to know who might be on the fence of going through surgery or going through a similar situation? What do you want other people to know? Well, I would like them to realize that that the treatment that that they provide, like Dr. Noble does and the hospital here does, is fabulous. You know, listen to them and they will help you. But uh, you know, and then then when when you get home, you you remember all, all of that and you start working you know at it and th that's what I like it because it, if you sit down and you, and you start feeling sorry for for yourself you know you're gonna think more you're gonna be more in pain so just get up and do it don't don't lay down awesome um and then you have three weeks of just physical therapy after this correct and then three yes weeks, mm -hmm. pretty much Six weeks. Wow. No, I guess. You know. And then you can go on a run. Oh, yeah. <laughs> <laughs>